Hey Bladers! Welcome to the Beyblade Burst official channel and to episode 7 of the Be The One series. I'm Brendan and this is Steven. We're the Beyblade Geeks and we'll be your hosts for the show. We're super excited because this episode we have a super cool bay to show you Bladers. We have new products to show you every episode, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. You won't want to miss out. We'll also have exciting announcements every episode, so stay tuned. Make sure you smash that like button, and feel free to leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Your comment might inspire the next episode to be the one. Okay, Bladers, let's get hyped up and dive right in. We're seeing the return of one of our favorite characters. To give you a hint, he has white hair, a scar near his right eye, and he's one of Vault Aoi's good friends. Can you guess who it is? Do you recognize this powerful blader? It's Shu Kuranai. He's back in Beyblade Burst Turbo and stronger than ever. Shu was the runner-up in the International Bladers Cup after an epic battle with Vault. Since then, Shu has trained to become even stronger and has made an even bigger name for himself. He's still a member of the world-famous Raging Bulls, where he mentors new up-and-comers. He's produced some top-tier bladers. One of these up-and-comers happens to be none other than Fubuki Sumie. Shu guides Fubuki along the path to becoming a great blader. Shu has become so wise in Beyblade Burst Turbo. He really knows what it means to become a better and stronger blader. Fubuki isn't the only one Shu kept an eye on. Our main character, Iger Akabane, also caught Shu's attention and received his words of wisdom. Of course, Iger isn't exactly one to listen and always needs to learn the hard way. So Shu takes Iger on in a battle to really teach him a lesson. Shu shows Iger what it really means to resonate with your bay, bringing out his full potential. As you'd expect from such a powerful blader like Shu, he is able to enter the Turbo Awakened state, activating the Turbo Blades on his brand new bay, Turbo Sprizen. When Shu performs a powerful launch, the Turbo Blades on Turbo Sprizen activate, increasing his attack power and preventing incoming attacks from bursting it. Iger is no slouch when it comes to bay battles and has a strong bond with his bay. But he and Z Achilles unleashed continuous, powerful attacks against Turbo Sprizen, and it didn't have any effect. Beating an opponent that can awaken the Turbo Blades clearly isn't easy. This is Turbo Sprizen S4, a balanced type slingshot top that can do it all. It has well rounded stats and a bunch of features that can help you win your battles. Let's get started by looking at the epic energy layer. The Turbo Sprizen S4 energy layer can be adjusted to allow itself to be spun in either left or right rotation. You can do so by inserting the tool that is on your ripcord into the core of your Turbo Sprizen S4. Choose which spin direction you want to use and carefully twist until the core locks into place. Once you pick which direction you want Turbo Sprizen S4 to spin in, prepare yourself to launch real hard. On top of the dual spin ability on this energy layer, you can activate the Turbo Blades on Turbo Sprizen S4 by pulling off that perfect launch. If done properly, Turbo Sprizen S4's Turbo Blades will protrude outwards, giving you additional contact points for more attack power. Once those Turbo Blades are activated, you'll also notice that a plastic tab will extend outwards into the grooves meant to fit the prongs of the Forge Disc. This will add a resistance and obstruct the Forge Disc from moving, preventing Turbo Sprizen S4 from bursting. Your opponent is going to need to pull off a really powerful attack if they want to burst Turbo Sprizen S4. At the end of your battle, if your Turbo Blades are still activated, you'll need to push them back in manually before you can launch again. Let's move on to the two-part Forge Disc, DR-68. DR-68 includes a heavy Forge Disc that can really pack a punch. Its heaviness can give your Slingshot Top that extra power in your attack combinations, or some extra sturdiness in your defense combinations. DR-68 also comes with a thick disc frame with large downwards protrusions. You may notice that this disc frame is super bulky, which makes your combinations even heavier. Last but not least, let's take a look at the TB-12S performance tip. This performance tip actually features four tips in one. It has four different modes that you can use with your combination. TB-12S has an attack mode, stamina mode, defense mode, and slingshot mode. When you want to be quick around the base stadium, but not necessarily ride on the rails, you can use the attack mode to get up and personal with your opponent. The flat and narrow shape of the attack mode will let you move around fairly quickly. When you want to retain as much of your stamina as possible, you can switch your TB-12S to the stamina mode. This performance tip features a round, flat tip with a small plastic point in the center. When launched in stamina mode, Turbo Sprizen S4 will gravitate towards the center of the stadium, defending its position. Defense mode features a tip with a large surface area. The edges are more rounded, and the center of the tip has a flat, rectangular surface. Rotate TB-12S into defense mode, but this time, press down harder to alter the tip, 
The large rectangular surface will become the main point of contact on the stadium and get Turbo Sprizen S4 onto those rails. Now that you know what Turbo Sprizen S4 can do, let's get to battling. We'll try out Turbo Sprizen S4 in both left and right rotations. Alright, let's do this battle. Turbo Sprise and S4 will start off in right spin mode, and then I'll vary up the tips as we go. We'll start off in attack mode. Your first opponent, Wonder Valtrick V4. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Sprise is so powerful. 3, 3 2, 1. <laughs> Made you go reverse into the other direction. All right, so I'm gonna change my performance tip over into stamina mode. Next slingshot top, we got Achilles A4. Let's see if you have what it takes to take me down. Three, Three two, two, one. Wow, that was an epic attack. Such a heavy hitter. Three, two, one. Wow. This is such a large attack. Oh, this is going to be a close one. Ooh, Achilles took the win on that one. One of Turbo Sprise and S4's Turbo Blades were hit back in, but there's still one intact right there. Before the next matchup, I'm gonna move over into left spin mode. Changing it up, hey? Let's go. Next opponent, you're going up against Salamander S4. Three, Three two, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Big hit. Nice. Three, two, one. Come on, Salamander S4. Oh, this is gonna be a close one again. Nice. Next up, the Achilles A4. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, Ooh. epic burst. Survivor finish. Turbo Spice and S4 is such an epic slingshot top. It honestly might be my favorite top. Yeah, Turbo Spice and S4 definitely comes with some impressive parts. Make sure you customize and find your ultimate winning combination. Now that you've seen how strong Turbo Spice and S4 is, let's tell you bladers about some exciting announcements. From the Beyblade Burst Rivals app, from December 15th to January 14th, we have the difficult Ice Base Tournament. Something else cool that's coming in December is the multiplayer beta. Stay tuned to the Beyblade Burst Rivals Discord for updates. Check the description box for links to download the app and the Beyblade Burst Rivals Discord channel. From December 2nd through 29th, head to your nearest Sonic drive-in to get Beyblade Burst collectible stickers, disc launchers, and ripcord spinning tops when you order a Wacky Pack Kids meal. Only at participating locations and while supplies last. Bladers, get ready for a brand new series. Beyblade Burst Rise will be launching on Teletoon and DXD in Canada on March 7th. This concludes episode 7. Let us know what you bladers think of Turbo Spice and S4 down in the comment section below. Do you prefer to use Turbo Spice and S4 in right spin or left spin mode? Thanks for watching bladers. Make sure you are subscribed and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next episode of the Be The One series. Also, make sure to check out the official Beyblade Burst social media pages. See you bladers in the next episode!